All right, so last week we introduced you to our camera system. So we went with this Lorex system with these little 4K cameras. Some of you had concerns about um, the fact that the cameras are only 15 frames per second. So um, we aren't as concerned with the 15 frames per second as we are about the lag. And so when we timed the lag, meaning when something actually happens versus when it shows up on the screen, it was only about half a second behind. So that we thought that was actually far more critical than the actual frames per second, which is pretty decent. If we're using it to look at blind spots and things like that, then half a second is is pretty pretty near instantaneous. So anyway, we're gonna get to installing these things. That's the project for the weekend. All right, so the last step is the wiring and how are we gonna run the wiring from the roof and from the outside. Um, to come in and all the wires are just standard ethernet cables so they're cat 6e ethernet cables and that provides the signal the audio um, the control the wiring uh, the wiring for power so you only have to run the one ethernet cable and so we'll be running that um, up along the rails and then down we have a little piece of conduit with um with a little box that will run all those wires down into kind of the we're calling it the technology cabinet which is the space right above our refrigerator it will be on our network but not directly that's what's one of the nice things about having an nvr or a, a network video recorder is that it kind of runs its own little separate network which is then proxied into your normal network so it does come with a fairly good sized box um, it looks sort of like a VCR, um, a little bit thinner, um, but we did take that apart because we take everything apart. And what's in there is actually just this little tiny circuit board that's about that big. So I'm playing with the idea of just trashing that big giant box and just um, kind of mounting the components in a custom mount um, up in the technology box or hidden somewhere so that someone doesn't find our video recorder and rip it out and now we don't have any evidence of anything so anyway i'm playing with that idea as well is um where can we hide the hard drive and the, and the little controller but anyway we have to run the cable down and through the conduit and into these junction boxes so we'll show you that when we when we start running stuff all right so to glue this down we're going to use our favorite stuff the 3m 5200 so we're just using one of the stands that came with our original six cameras for the black one um, because it just happened to be the exact right configuration and the exact right angle for us so that's what we're going to use so we're just putting a bunch of 5200 on the back and laying it on nice and thick and it should hold this stuff is is pretty incredible we've kind of come to trust this glue so i'm pretty untrusting of glues and i've i've kind of just come to trust this one because it's it's it really holds well okay so we just put some painters tape over it to just kind of stabilize it while the glue sets up um, it only takes about an hour, an hour and a half for the glue to um, kind of do the initial setup where it's uh, just kind of tacky and then it takes a full 48 hours to fully cure. So we probably won't actually um, mount the camera on this until after that 48 hours and make sure it's totally cured before we put the weight of the camera on it. Alright, so we've got the camera mounts um, mounted on the bus, so there's five on the outside. And for most of them, we use these little mounts here. And what we did was we took them apart, 
and then only mounted this little piece here. Um, there was a couple of them where we used the plastic ones. We just thought they fit a little better. Um, but now we're going to try to wire in some of these cameras. So we've gone ahead and made two boxes um, for wires to go in and that will include these cameras. And so um, the cameras have just one wire and then it is a just a network cable from here. But what goes into here are these little um, weather connectors to protect this wire. So um, just to keep the ends from getting any junk on them or getting oxidized or anything like that. Um, we're also going to run probably a little piece of this flex tubing if any of it's exposed, if any of this wire is exposed to the sun. We're going to run some of this flex tubing just to protect it a little bit. Um, we made these hoods and we showed you how we made these last time. Um, we are going to put just a little piece of tape inside, so a little piece of VHB tape inside. Um, these do mount with the mounting screw. They'll um, they'll get pinched in between the camera and this little mounting thing. Um, but we thought we'd put in some VHB just to keep it from rocking side to side. So um, we'll go ahead and set all this up and start to wire the cameras in. So for now, we're going to just run this cable inside and just into where we think we're going to have the recorder. Um, we're not going to cut it or anything like that. And then once everything's a little bit more final, we'll cut and then crimp um, some custom lengths on these. So, but for now, all of them should be long enough to reach. How do you do that? I have fingernails right now. That's why. Bit. I don't, yeah, we'll have to adjust it once we yeah. get it hooked up to the monitor. Okay. I think it was something like that. Okay. Alright, so we've run the, the wire and got it all hooked up inside. Made sure that this is pointed the way we wanted to and that we can aim it correctly. Um, now we're thinking about <clears throat> laying this wire down and actually putting it under some Eterna Bond. So just to keep it more weatherproof and out of the sun and everything, just put it under some Eterna Bond and um, just so it just so it stays out of the weather. So that's what we're thinking about doing now. So we've got our scissors up here and a little piece of Eterna Bond. So we gotta clean this. All right, so that front camera is all wired in. The wire is running down the super strut and down through the conduit down inside and then that will get connected into the recorder box all right it's super windy and cold we got a new mic thing so there's like a dead cat thing on the mic so hopefully that cuts down on the wind noise we'll know after we edit a couple more videos but hopefully that makes a difference um, so today's project was getting these cameras mounted and wired up so on each corner we've got a camera We've got two around the back that we'll show you in a minute. So all together, this system has uh, eight, no, seven cameras. So <clears throat> we've got one up here that's gonna shoot and see towards the front door. We've got the one above the front door, which will kind of see this entire blind spot. And then back here, um, we mounted one low and then one high to be able to see this entire area here with the ball hitch and everything as well as be able to see behind the tow vehicle so there's one there so there's another one here 
And this one uh, looks out and can see the blind spot on this side. And um, we have one up here acting as a, um, that's acting as like a driver's camera. So this will be interesting because there is, I can see the fuzzy blowing. So I'm, it's going to be interesting to see if the, if the uh, muff did anything to, to weed that out. So that's all our cameras are set up. All right, so the seventh camera is actually just gonna go pointing straight at the front door. Um, it's the only way in and out, and we figured if someone comes in or something, then that'll give us our best shot at being able to see who it was. So um, anyway, for right now, we've got it set up on an old monitor. It looks like the cameras are gonna work out really well. We think for traffic and stuff, it should be more then good enough to be able to see where cars are and things like that and they are a 4k resolution so um and they're constantly recording so they're recording 24 7 and then if there's motion um the little screen here i'll show you all right that. so now if we go back here to playback um we see this timeline down here and what this says is if there was motion we'll start seeing little spiky things way down in here. And so you'll see the little yellow lines and that, um, so you can zoom in. So like, let's say we're around here and we want to zoom in so that it's only an hour and then we'll see like, oh, there was motion right here. And you can see people walked by right there. So um, it'll kind of show us, so again, it'll kind of show us motion um, you'll see it with this little yellow indicator here and then watch this camera. You'll see a couple of people walk by um, when that motion was detected. So uh, about right now you should see there, there's motion going across. So you can see, and what's really impressive is <clears throat> the, the resolution on these is quite high. So you can zoom in and move it around and um, it's pretty high resolution. The one thing that worries me a little bit is the hard drive is a traditional spinny kind of hard drive and we don't know how well that's gonna do with the jostling and bumping around. So that may have to be replaced with a solid state hard drive, which is considerably more expensive, but might be worth it because it's a little bit more durable. So anyway, um, so that's, kind of it for the security system for now. We're pretty happy with the camera system. Uh, as a driving aid, we plan on having some kind of tablet or monitor or something up front where we can see these same views. So if we're, you know, we're turning left, we'll do something that'll automatically bring up like the left-hand side of the bus and things like that. So um, we haven't fully figured that out, but this is in place now and is, you know, it's ready to be figured out. So we're gonna see what we do with that.